Hello everyone, welcome to another Rex Picks. Today I'm going to be doing the Marvel Legends series figure, Gwenpool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at her in packaging. Then I'm going to take a look at the figure and her accessories. And then I'm going to give you my thoughts on her. And just remember, if you do like this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's a small click for you, but it really helped this channel grow. So without any further ado, let's get to the review. All right, so here she is in packaging. I do like the packaging for this. Up here at the top, it says, you know, build a figure, but she's part of that. You got your age restrictions, your legend series, her name and her uh, comic book style, Marvel, and the Hasbro logo. Spinning around this way, you get some comic book art with a little bit of neat detailing underneath of it. On the back here, you get a little bit about her, Marvel Legends, her and her accessories. Everybody that's part of this lineup, the Build-A-Figure, and then your legal here. So on this side, you get basically the same art as you did on the other side. Look at the top. You just have a G there. And then the bottom is the rest of your legal and SKU. So with all that being said, let's open her up and see what she's about. Okay, so here she is out of packaging. She's a really good looking figure. I love the detail and work to her. So let's give her a rotation. All right. I love her little penguin backpack. That's kind of cute. Of course, I think it is a bad menu. I don't know why they put the serial code so predominant on her back leg. That kind of takes away from the figure. Okay. So I think that was a bad choice. Usually they put a code like that on their feet. I don't know why it was put there, but oh well. Um, so with that being said, let's take a look at her points of articulation. So let's move these arms. All right, her head does spin. Okay, she has a shoulder joint, an elbow joint, and a wrist joint. All right, she does have a swivel there as well. And put her arms up. She has a swivel underneath the breast. Uh, she doesn't have a belt line swivel. Okay. She has a thigh joint and a swivel there. All right. A knee joint. She don't have a swivel at the boot. And she does have an ankle joint. Okay. So, get her back down into position. She does come with a couple of accessories. All right, so she comes with two swords. One. Two. All right. An alternate head. Okay. Four hands, so she has the peace symbol. A sword hand, or actually this looks like a gun grip hand. All right. This hand as well, another hand, and she comes with a cell phone, okay? Now the cell phone's a little disappointing because all the cell phone really is is just a black piece of plastic, all right? It would have been nice if they would have at least given it a screen of some sort or, you know, just something that, you know, make this stand out, but other than that, it's just a black piece of plastic, so that's a bit disappointing, all right? And as you saw before, these hands here, you know, you get her in position and she makes the heart shape kind of thing. Got how she was like that. Oh, there you go. So you put her like this, she makes her little heart thing. So let's take a look at some of these accessories of hers. All right, so let's see how well some of this stuff works. First off, let's see how this other head works. Pop that head off. Okay, that pops on good. No issues. Let's swap some of these hands out. Okay, we're going to take this one. Yeah, just do that. All right. 
So that's a gun hand. And take this one off. And put the P symbol there. So she could do that. Alright. So let's see how well these swords work in this hand. Alright, yeah, the sword fits in really good. No issues whatsoever with that. Okay, let's see how well they fit in our little backpack here. I ain't got to push down. Of course, they do the cross thing. All right, so as you can see, the swords fit in there good. No issues with the swords. She can do the whole peace symbol thing. All right. Also, this is the hand here for the cell phone. Let's see how well that works. Pull that off and, you know. All right. There we go. Oops. Uh, trying to get that phone in there. So, Alright, there we go. You can get the phone in there. So, the phone does work with that as well. Like I said, the phone's a little bit of a disappointment. There's like nothing to it whatsoever. Her old little outfit's cute. So, overall, she's a good looking figure. You know, other than the factor that I think that that cell phone... Could have used just a little bit more deco to make it pop and make it a worthwhile piece. And also the factor that they put her codes right on the back of her leg. You know, those are the only two real flaws that I have with this figure. Other than that, she's a really cool figure. I'd highly recommend her to anybody who likes Gwenpool or, you know, the Deadpool crew and what have you. So, with that being said, if you did like this review, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe. It's a small click for you, but it really help this channel grow. So until the next one, late. Hey, are you going to be in the Philadelphia area between September 9th and 10th? If so, check out RetroCon. It's affordable. They have lots of great vendors. There's going to be cosplay competitions, celebrities, and much, much more. So go ahead and check out the link in the description. And also, Samuel J. Jones is going to be there, better known as Flash Gordon. So check it out. Greg Evigan will be there, best known for BJ and the Bear, My Two Dads, and Tech Wars. Voice actress Kathy Garver will be there, the one and only Firestar from Spider-Man and his amazing friends. Retrocon has been taken over by the Dukes, so we got Tom Walpad, John Snyder, and Kathy Batch, Luke Bo and Daisy alongside with the Jersey General representing the Dukes of Hazards. Yeehaw! Next on our list, all the way from Cybertron, the hit rock band Cybertronic Spree. And check this out, the rare Hasbro Proton Pack as a raffle prize. Now you can't beat that.